What up, Diecast Gang? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy KG back in the workshop studio. Hope you guys having a blessed day. Same day, different video. Getting right into this diorama build. Um, I got a lot to show you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you enjoy the content, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a single video. I'm your boy because I don't post frequently all the time, so you might want to hit that bell so you'll stay notified when I drop a video. Uh, today I got a 164 scale dad rammer that I'm been thinking of for about a little over a week now. Just been pondering about a design concept. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And for me, that's like the hardest part of um, the diorama build. Like, it's just coming up with the, having a vision, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, I have a lot of visions, a lot of different ideas for other projects. So, it kind of be coinciding with my other stuff that's going on. But, finally came up with something I really like. I think it's going to be actually really cool when I'm finished. It's gonna be on my table. I'm gonna turn the camera around, I'll show you guys right now where it's gonna be. Then I'm gonna show you guys the materials I'm gonna be working with. All right, guys, here it is, right here in front of me. Now this is my workshop table. It's my work table actually, but right here in the back of my table, I have multiple shelves built up, you know, all the way to the ceiling. So. Underneath this bottom shelf, before I just had a bunch of random stuff pushed back under there. Uh, if I turn out my shop light, little, my little ring light right here, as you can see, this would be kind of dark. So, um, never really thought about building anything here before, for now, but since I'm into these 164 scale cars now. Um, I think it'd be really cool to have a nice diorama here. So, the idea that I came up with is like an auto museum, a museum of cars. I'm going to build it all the way across this whole bottom, all the way over to the end. Right here, it's kind of awkward. I got my TV set up right here, but I still got all the space underneath here where I can do a nice diorama setup. Got this Texas Chainsaw Massacre 71 Chevy C10. I need to pull out. Had this for quite some time, guys. I never unboxed it. And this car, I believe, from Starsky and Hutch, one of the police cars. But that video's not about that right now, gang. So, I do have, I want to do, I do want to bring it all the way to the end of the, where this TV is, so I have a wall right there where it ends at, to come, like right there, so it's going to be pretty nice wide, that rim, we got to figure out how I'm going to connect it, because my uh, phone board, which I'm going to show you. <coughs> gonna be one of the materials that I'm using. I have some white foam board and some black foam board. And I buy these foam boards at Dollar Tree. There's the white one. Just went and grabbed a couple of more. They look like this. They have well they're dollar twenty five <clears throat> excuse me dollar twenty five now. So that's that. Um, also gonna be using uh, this duct tape, like the checker pattern, black and white checker. Of course, um, 
Gorilla Glue. I love to use this during my to glue the to glue certain things together. Keep glue. I'm gonna have to get some more, actually. But to start out, we got enough to start, get started, and uh, I'm also gonna be using craft sticks. You know, I got this. Ben had this thousand pack of craft sticks. I really call them popsicle sticks. But as you can see, got a bunch of them. I've been had them for some, quite some time. About time I make use of them. So, I'm going to use them. And uh, what else do I have? I also have some corrugated paper, which I'm going to show you guys. I don't have any right here in front of me. I got a small piece. I'll show you guys. I got big rolls of this stuff. Um, already peeled out. I don't have to peel anything. The corrugated paper, I got a huge roll so I can just cut it and use what I need. Um, and also, I bought some lights <coughs> the other day. Stopped at Lowe's and I bought some LED lights. Now, these is a little bit more expensive than I'm used to spending. These I think these are about forty something dollars for these lights. But they supposed to have smart Wi Fi uh technology where I can you can adapt it to your phone. I also come with a remote. Um it should be really interesting guys. Uh can't wait to get to the point where I use the lights. That's gonna be towards the middle or the end. But my plan is, guys, that's, I think that's all the materials. If I have any more, I'll show you later on. Any more materials that I'll use. Oh, I do have the poster board. I don't know if you guys are familiar with poster board, but it's the thin board. These were two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And it's basically a thin crisp piece of white poster board. So we got foam board, poster board. Oh, excuse me, guys. Showing you all my mess, but yeah. So, getting right to it, guys. Please bear with me. It's a lot. <laughs> Try to explain this. Now, if you got a good imagination, you might be able to follow along with what I'm going to explain to you. But this is my vision. I didn't do any draw outs or anything like that. So I'm just going to be basically going off of what's in my head. And. I decided to make it three levels since it's a nice little space here. You know, I got my ruler for measure this. It's about eight and a half inches worth of height here for and for one and see the fourth scales. I hope that's plenty enough space to make three levels. Um but I want it to be, you know, kind of like rustic. I want to kind of look make like a warehouse, a warehouse that was turned into a car museum. Um, right here in the middle, I already got a box set up. And this only thing it is is a piece of foam board, and I got three sides, the front and the two sides. Um, I just got it sitting there right now, but. Right here, that's going to be my elevator. I want to have an elevator. And then, you know, it's going to be a makeshift elevator to look like an elevator to take the cars to each floor. That's going to, so I just got that sitting right there for the meantime. And uh, I got to get this extended. This is going to be my floor right here. 
and I gotta get it another board cut and extend it all the way to the end so I can finish the whole thing. But right now, today, I'm just gonna fo focus on the first floor, getting the first floor done. And I got some cars laid out right here. I just laid some cars out for inspiration so I can kind of get a little visual and get my head together. But this is kind of how it's going to be, how I got the cars laid out. Right now, I just got some popsicle sticks. I decided to use these for a hardwood floor. So that's what it's going to be. Um, I'm going to put a strip of the duct tape checker pattern duct tape on down this kind of this way and uh and make a turn go this way like I got the sticks and then when it get to the elevator I want the strip to check a strip to come all the way down to the front of the, of the building so where the sticks is laid out in the middle where the cars are laid at. I'm gonna have a hardwood floor. That's where I'm gonna have my hardwood floor at. And also right here in the front, make this like a hardwood floor. And I'm gonna do something kind of tricky right here in the middle where the elevator is. I'm gonna have a slight wall on the ground floor on both sides. And on the other side of the elevator, it's going to kind of mirror this side. So, it should be kind of interesting, guys. Uh, I'm just going to start out. I wish I could show you guys the process as I'm building it. I might show you a little bit here and there, but I can't show you the whole process. But I'm going to get started with adding my tape, laying my tape down, and then I'll know where I want to add my my, my sticks for my hardwood floor. So bear with me. I'm just going to get into it, get started, and we're going to do it. All right, Diecast Gang, this is how I'm starting out. I slid it out right now. I slid the foam board out towards me so I can get to it better. And right now, I just started with the, the checker pattern duct tape. I just made a L shape. Blue line right there. Um, by the way, I get the duct tape from Ace Hardware here in Chicago. Now that I got my first little strip of tape down, I also gonna put more tape over here coming this way. So, but um, I'm gonna start with my hardwood floor because it's gonna take me the most time probably just to get this area right here filled in to get a visual um, I'm gonna start cutting by these tips being rounded off I'm gonna take some scissors I'm just gonna take my regular scissors these is like material scissors for sewing and crafting but they strong enough to cut through this piece of wood I'm just gonna slice a bunch of them and get them ready to line up. I'm going to start up by lining up a trim, a border, going around. At this edge, I might um, do a 45 degree angle to make it curve around to the other, to the other piece of wood. I'm sorry, attach it. So I'm just going to get started with cutting a bunch of them guys to... to Save me some time later on. It's gonna take me a while. And I'm gonna be using once I start gluing my floor down, I'm gonna show you the pattern that I'm that I'm gonna use, but I'm just gonna use some super glue to glue the pieces down. So let me get a bunch of them cut. I just wanna show you that guys. We can go from there. Okay guys, I got a bunch of the wood craft this cut at the end. Now they look like hard wood floor planks. Uh, laminated floor, whatever you want to, <laughs> whatever you want imagination want to call it, but they look like planks. I've done this before, so 
pretty much know how it's gonna go. Just, just take a little patience, guys. Take your time, and you know, do it step by step and get it done. But I'd like to take my time and cut a bunch of them to save me some time when I get to putting them down. Of course, uh, today I'm gonna be using Gorilla Glue, Super Glue to glue the pieces down. Now this is a bit heavy on the glue side. You probably don't, and they're probably a little bit expensive to use, but um, I've used it before. I know it works good. It dries really fast, and I know it's going to hold really tight, so um, that's what I'm going to be using. So, starting out, I'm just going to do a border. Where am I checker part now? I have got my checkers glued down already. So it shouldn't be, should be pretty easy just to border it. The border the checkers. After I do that, then I'm gonna start adding my rows, rows of sticks to make my floor. So, shout out to KJ. KJ, know you are the guy I did the diorama build for. Kind of reminds me of the, of one of the sections I did in his diorama of the wood with the checker pattern. So, I think it's gonna look really nice. Cause I did it on his diorama and I like how it came out. Um, I didn't know I was building a diorama for a diorama builder, by the way. You do some really nice work, man. Shout out to you. Kudos. Keep keep up uh, the good work. Man. Uh, you're really inspirational. But getting to it, guys. I'm just going to, like I said, glue the border down. Then I'm going to start gluing pieces going this way. Piece of being pieces going this way, and in this section, I'm gonna have to pull up going this way. And basically, the cars are just gonna sit, um, uh, the area where the hardwood floors is at, it's gonna be the car area where the cars sit at. So, it's gonna be something like that. I can't wait to get it done. Move the cars out the way for now. Um, I'm just gonna get started getting this floor glued down, guys, and show you how it looks after after I get this section finished. All right, guys, just like that. Took me a while though. This is a I already see it's gonna be a little tedious process, but I'm gonna enjoy it. But just like I said, got the craft sticks laid out like my hardwood floor. Instead of just cutting the diagonal, I decided just to you know, do it like that, make the floor a little different, but it works for me. Like where it's going so far, guys, my next step is going to be adding some more tape right here in the middle. Now where the elevator is going to be, my elevator is going to be, I'm going to actually push this back, as you can see. I already got some cars lined up, ready to go. But when I push this back, the elevator it's going to be right there where this black box is at. And coming out from the elevator, I'm going to make a checker pattern coming out. Um, so I'm going to get this laid down right now, gang. Right here in the middle. Then I can start um, with the other side. Figuring out how I'm going to get the other side done. But let's get it. Let's go. Alright again, got the little middle strip taped into place. Now I'm gonna start working on this on this other side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretty much mirror what I got going on over here. Over here. Um, I'm gonna put a strip coming down, I'll put the wood in the back and the, and the wood right here. I'm going to add another foam board to extend this all the way to the end of this TV. So, that's what I'm going to be working on right now for the moment, gang. Hopefully, you guys get an idea of how I did this. Makes sense to you. When it's all said and done, I'm going to be taking some uh, some wood stain. I got some men wax. 
Ooh, this thing that I got from Menards. I'm just gonna go over this these sticks with a little stain. So you kinda tie it all together and bring it out. But um I'm gonna have the same concept for each floor, so it's gonna be a while for that before I get to staining. But I'm gonna get to working on this other side guys. Show you guys how it look and we're gonna go from there. Alright guys, we're moving right along. I'm getting excited now. We got some made some accomplishment. Uh idea was put down another foam board on this side. I added a tape strip down the middle in that way. Then I added the the wood pieces, glued them down, and got the mission before. You gotta make sure the uh, pieces are staggered. If they just uh, they're not staggered like a real floor, it's not gonna look like a real floor. You just can't have the pieces side by side. You know, with the line going straight down like this. You gotta stagger them pieces. So failed to mention that before, but got the first level, at least the floor complete. Um, the next thing I want to do is add, um, a, uh, this is just the, the wall back here, the actual wall, so I want to add a foam board back there, and I want to add, uh, brick paper. Uh, give me my one moment, guys. Okay, <clears throat> had to go grab my brick paper, I just wanted to show you guys, got a bunch as you can see, a bunch of sheets of this brick paper. Now, actually, I got this from uh, Michael's Craft Store. But actually, this print of brick is actually too big for 164 scale. I normally use it for 124, but um, it's only going to be for the background wall, like back here. I can just stick this back here right now to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Pretty sure I can squeeze it. There you go. Let's see. Could be just slick and just add it like that. And uh hmm. Now I'm thinking. I save myself some time and just tape it to the wall. Like that. That'll just be the background of my um, garage. I want it to look more like a factory, so I think that'll work out fine. Glad I stuck it back there, because I was going to add a foam board in front of it. That's my first plan, to add a foam board and then glue the, the brick paper to the foam board. But that works just fine, just like that. So... Disregard that step. I'm just gonna take care of that and put it all the way across the back. But I'm gonna work on the elevator. Um, make this look more like an elevator. So I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna take some foam board and make a uh, a border around here. The height of the height of the floor. If that make any sense? I'm gonna. I'm just going to go ahead and get it cut out and show you guys once I get it cut out and how it looks. Alrighty guys, I just went on ahead and taped my my paper down. I just used some uh, painter's tape. I folded it like double sided tape. I taped it to the back of the paper and taped it up there. made it much more simpler than what I was planning on doing. But moving right along. Uh, I want to show you guys. Got some foam pieces. Um, took some foam board. I cut it out like a C shape or a, or just a shape, guys. But I'm gonna glue it on right onto the front of this board, just like that. 
And then all I gotta do is add a slit down the middle to make it look like a opening door. But that's about it, gang. And I got three of them. I'm gonna have three levels. Another one right there. I don't know up top. It's gonna be hard for me to show the top right now, but there you go. There you go, guys. So I'm gonna get that glued in the place. I'm gonna find where the middle is and add a slit. And right here, um, my next step is gonna be adding a wall right here. It's gonna help support the second floor. I'm gonna add another wall on this side. And it's gonna also help support the second the second level. We get to that later, but I'm just gonna get this glued down, get my walls prepared, and show you what my, my plans is with the walls for the first floor. Alright guys, I got me two walls, cut out a foam board, I'm gonna attach to both sides where the elevator is gonna be at to separate. I don't know, to kind of make an entryway, it's going to be a, a door, a garage door, like an overhead door right there, on both sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then next, I'm going to work on, this, on the second floor before I do that. Right now, I think it'll be a good time for me to stain the wood, so I'm going to move the cars out the way. Stop the video. Um, I got some man wax. Show you guys real quick. Um, the color. Give me one sec. All right, guys. Here's the stain. It's a gun stock finish by man wax. All I'm gonna be doing is taking a paintbrush, guys, dipping in there, and just basically brushing it on. Uh, that would be the easiest way for me to do it without making a mess. I'm a painter. Real life um, carpenter, painter, things like that. So, it should be pretty easy for me. That's what I'm going to do right now, guys. I'm going to move this. I haven't attached it to my walls yet. Before I get everything closed in. Be a good idea for me to go ahead and do this uh through these floors. You know, before it gets difficult. So go ahead and work on this guys. And this gonna pretty much conclude today's project that came along pretty good. So far I'm liking the way how it's coming. Um if you guys enjoying the content, please leave a like, thumbs up. Really would appreciate it. If you're watching for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Uh, want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the bell turn on all post notifications so you won't miss a single video from your boy okay guys I've been busy got the stain down already looking much better added a little life to it as you can see um that's going to pretty much conclude today's video, guys. I'm going to take a break from it. I'm going to step away from it. Probably get back at it tonight, later on tonight. But I want to get this video uploaded and, and done. So I'm going to stop right where I'm at. But, guys, you're going to be seeing a lot of this diorama because this is actually on my work table. And this is actually where I do a lot of my recording at. So um, I'm really liking how it's coming along. If you made it to this part of the video, got a little treat, got something special. I want to show you guys something I worked on before. Um, if you guys remember what was right here before I started the diorama, it actually used to be a um, stuff that's going to be falling out of move. I'm going to move this out the way to show you guys. I had a bunch of M2 
cars back there. Uh, right here, bottom of my table, build a little shelf. Um, I got some extra wood pieces I had, and I just put a lot of the stuff that I had back in the background back there onto this little shelf that I built at the bottom of my table. And also, if you guys remember a few videos ago, I built this shelf right here for my 164. And I got it full of cars now. It's actually like, I believe it's 13 shelves. And it holds 182 cars. So, got it filled up pretty much. But I went on ahead and added another shelf. Because I was going to extend it and make a second shelf on the side of it. Exactly the same, so just extend it all the way across. But instead, I built a shelf here. And I don't know how many cars it holds, but it has like the same, like 13 or 14 shelves. I believe this one is 12, and this one is 13. And at the very top, as I added a diorama, this is actually where the stairs is in my house. Dogs coming down, but since it's slope ceiling, I made the slope roof on the diorama on the top shelf. Added some, uh, took a box from M2 box from a VP racing car that I had. Took some of the stuff off, just used for some signs in my shop. It says making power. That's making power. I thought that was pretty cool. To complement the top of the shelf, <clears throat> it is die cast and dioramas. So, there you have it, guys. Again, if you enjoyed the content, <clears throat> don't, forget to don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that bell if you subscribe, guys. And until next time, peace and love. I'm out. Have a blessed day.